the grip controls the club face. You're trying to find your hand position at address, which is going to be your hand position at impact. For myself, I know that my hands are about in that position, that is with the V's between the thumb and first finger of both hands pointing just to the right of the chin. I know they're about there when I hit the ball, so I start with them there since that's where I'm going to come back to. So I start with them there, since that's where I'm going to come back to. I wonder if you can see what would happen if I started with my hands around here, but I say my impact position is with the Vs in that position. Obviously, the club face is going to be far too open at impact. Similarly, if I started with my hands way around here, but my impact position is back to my position there, then of course I would close the club too much. So there's no mistake, you're trying to find your position at a dress which will match up at impact. Match up at impact. Now, I don't think it really matters whether you over that the little finger, like the famous Harry Barden, that's known as the Harry Barden grip, or interlock the two little fingers, like the great Jack Nicholas, or indeed use all the fingers of the right hand. What is important, as I've explained to you already, is that the hands are at the correct angle. But in detail, the club in the left hand is across the fingers and the base of the palm. It's not in the fingers, it's not in the palm. The V form between the thumb and first finger points somewhere between the chin and the right shoulder, and the thumb is about a third of the way around the shaft. The right hand, the hollow of the right hand, fits on top of the left thumb. In my case, the little finger sits on top. I use the Harry Varden grip. And the grip in the right hand is very much in the fingers, not in the palm at all this time. Fingers of the right hand, so that when I close the right hand, both these are in the same direction, and the hands fit snugly together, and it works as one unit. It's not just the position of the grip, it is also the pressure of the grip. If you tend to leave the club face open coming into the ball, you would need to grip lighter to allow the club head to catch up and square up at impact. On the other hand, if you were someone who continually closed the club face, which would mean the wrists were working independent of the arms, then you would need to grip more firmly. So if you tend to hook, a fairly firm grip. If you tend to slice, keep it light. The grip, I always think, for children, young people when they're starting the game, it's most important that they do start by getting the club face square. The worst thing in the world for a youngster is to start with the open club face, the ball slices, and they immediately learn the wrong action. So young people, and most ladies, I would say, too, need to have the Vs fairly well over. That is giving them the strength of the left arm. So young people, ladies, a strong grip. Most tournament players, the great players, have started that way as children. That's why they become good players. But of course, as they get stronger, the ball tends to hook, and then they have to change to what we would describe a weaker grip. Ben Hogan, Arnold Palmer, they're people who have done that. They now use a grip with both Vs going up to the chin. Don't be frightened of doing a little experimenting. Both hands together. Both these parallel. If you tend to slice the ball to the right, turn the hands a little to the right. If you turn the hands to the left, you would do that when the ball is hooking to the left. You're trying to find your position at a dress which will match up at impact.